The Children's Library at the Portland Public Library is exhibiting a collection of quilts which represent favorite children's stories. The dozen quilts will be on display through the end of February, and Leslie McVeigh talked with Rana O'Connor of Art Quilts Maine about the exhibit. Rana, um, who came up with the idea of using quilts to illustrate the books that the children read? Well, every year the uh, Art Quilts Maine Guild comes up with a challenge. So the challenge committee for last year presented a number of different ideas, and the guild voted on which one they wanted to do. And this was the one the group came up with. Was and the the group the guild is made up of uh, people from all over the state of Maine. Right. Right, they range from um, Belfast to Wells and everywhere in between. Well, this exhibit is wonderful. Um, the illustrations of uh, what you've decided are the representative of the books are so fabulous. Mm -hmm. Will this go on tour? It actually has already been on tour. We um, put this up originally at um, the statewide uh, exhibit of quilts in uh, um, August in Augusta. Um, Maine Quilts, and every year we do the challenge at Maine, uh, Maine Quilts, it's exhibited there. But this year somebody had the idea to approach um, a library in Farmington about showing these quilts after um, the, the show closed in Augusta, and um, the library, the, the bookstore owner was so excited about that that it generated interest with the rest of the uh, artists to approach bookstores or libraries in their own towns and have these quilts exhibited. So it's been in Farmington, Belfast, uh, Saco, uh, here, and then it's on its way, this uh, group of quilts will be on their way to um, Rockland and Skahegan afterwards. So um, it just took on a life of its own and it's been really fun to have them going all over the state. Now is this a, a part of the guild's work or is there um, uh, are there more quilts at other libraries at the moment? Oh no, this is the only touring exhibit that we have right now and it's actually I think the only one we've done, a touring exhibit. Oh. Generally the guild gets together to um, help each other uh, expand their work as artists and to challenge each other as artists um, and to support one another in that way and uh, we exhibit like we do with this one challenge every year but generally speaking it's only ever been in Augusta at that one show. Mm -hmm. This year it just kind of took on this wonderful um, traveling exhibit and I think we would like to do that more. We have done some other exhibits, but much more limited. Well, it certainly makes sense. As you look around the Portland Public Library, the children's section is full of books. How did you decide which books to do as quilts? Well, each person um, had the opportunity to pick their own favorite children's book. So, for example, um, for me it was The Secret Garden, and I can remember reading that book on the windowsill by moonlight because I was so enthralled with it, so after Lights Out I still had to, you know, capture that book. And um, uh, I'm sure that for each of these quilt artists, um, the book they chose was one that really resonated for them. Uh, and then the challenge was to create something um, that represented your book without in any way relying on um, illustrations that might already be in that story. Well, I think you've done a wonderful job. I mean, The Secret Garden was one of my favorite mm. books, and The Lupin Lady. And, right. I mean, there are just so many great books represented here by these Yeah, quilts. hard to narrow it down for It anybody, really right? is. What has yeah. the response been from the children? Oh, we've had great response at the different places. Um, I think that uh, many kids have been inspired to pick up one of those books and, um, and read it. Many, of course, you know, we're all adults, so some of these books are not maybe the current favorites for kids, but for kids to go back and pick up a book that maybe their parents read and really uh, find out why it was so enthralling and exciting for them has been fun. Sort of yeah. connect the generations in a, in a new way. Um, now, uh, are there other programs that will be held here at the library in conjunction with the quilts? Will they have some people demonstrating quilting? Or? I don't believe there's anything planned here. What we did do for, um, for the library here is set up a um, sort of match game. So there is a uh, sheet of paper that has a list of the quilts and a list of the books that people can pick up and try to match the quilt to the book. Um, and I believe Mary has also pulled some of the books that are representative of the quilts up here for people to look at and, 
and uh, and read through. I know at one of the at the Saco Library they also did um, children's story hour, mm -hmm. reading some of the books that oh, were represented up here. How great! Story well, yeah. I think I would be a little bit challenged maybe to pick the. The, the quilt in the book. I don't know. I've picked some and I was correct. Oh, so good. I'm going to try doing it. <laughs> very good. <laughs> and I yeah. hope everyone else comes down to the library yeah, and checks this out. Some of them are out. much more challenging than others <laughs> as you get into the more abstract quilts. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. And I hope to see more of your quilts on display in the coming years. Oh, thank you. Thank yes, you. Yes, us too. Thank you.